There's a new up and coming artist on the scenes. His name is Hunter Biden. Of course, that's President Joe Biden's son. And um, so he's reportedly sold five prints of this artwork for $75,000 a piece. And this is an opening of his uh, LA art show that happened just last Friday. And so he was, um, the people that showed up there and, and the clientele that, that were interacting with him and was purchasing some of this art is a part of the problem that happened here. Let's go to this uh, Washington, it's from this, uh, uh, this piece from Washington Examiner, I know we had this. Uh, the White House partnered with the gallerist to lay down some ground rules. Hunter Biden, for example, must not, must not show the identity of any of the buyers or discuss the sale of any of the pieces of art during this event. Instead, they focused on discussion of his creative process. Now, um, this is a force to avoid some of the conflicts of interest that could happen or maybe some of the people that are important folks there with their money looking to buy the art and maybe have some kind of a, a, a cross promotional thing with their role potentially in the government considering his father is the president of the United States. Um, so Kyle Morrison, Martinson here um, had a picture of him also there and he said, here's Hunter Biden meeting with potential buyers for his art at a showing last week. Uh, and uh, Kyle was asking, didn't the White House say he wasn't going to know the buyers, but of course there's pictures there of him doing it. Um, and uh, as they went through all this, uh, the press secretary, Jen Psaki, did have to answer some questions about this potential conflict and um, I guess potential favors that could be given or positions that could come from this. Let's listen to her, uh, this question and answer here. This is exactly what ethicists said they were worried about. What is specifically? The fact that, uh, the, that the president's son- That he son, reportedly attended an event? Well, the president's son would be selling artwork and then meeting potentially with people who would seek to buy it. If you have attendees at that event who might be seeking either jobs in this administration or favors from this administration, isn't it an awkward situation to put the president in? Again, the gallerist has spoken to, we've spoken to the specifics what the gallerist has agreed to and what, uh, per, what recommendations were made. I've done that several times. I don't have additional details. It's an uncomfortable situation to be in when you have to answer those types of questions about what um, what it is that is happening. It just looks a certain way, and I've never understood this uh, with um, with politicians and you know political groupings and people like that. Anyone that's involved, even the buyers and stuff, just is it that important? Is it that important for this to be an aspect of your life? Shouldn't we wait? Biden's not going to be in office forever. But maybe that leads us to believe this is the reason why you have to do it right now. Of course, this is when Hunter Biden is most relevant. This is when he has to sell his art. Uh, when dad's out of <laughs> office, nobody is gonna be interested in his art. So let's keep it real now. Uh, he sold five paintings apparently for $75,000 a piece. This is his first art exhibition. exhibition. Um, and when you had your first one, okay, did you sell five for $75,000? And your stuff is great, okay? That's not a thing that happens unless your last name is Biden, okay? There's only two possible scenarios here. One is the guy who bought it is a celebrity ass kisser and he wants to say, oh, I've got a Biden. Oh, <laughs> I bought Hunter Biden stuff. Uh, the art community, I'm not big fans. That's, that's a whole nother thing, okay? That is way too broad a statement. There's one. Awesome parts of the art community, okay? <laughs> but um, but uh, so it's at best a celebrity ass kisser, and at worst, it's what ethicists are worried about it corruption. So they're funneling $375,000 to the Biden family. And Saki's answer was BS, because she said, oh, no, no, we have a deal with the person running the gallery. Yeah, the deal was that neither Joe Biden nor Hunter Biden is to know either who the buyers are or who the prospective buyers are. I looked at the deal. Okay, the prospective buyers are all in the room with Hunter Biden. <laughs> so it's actually even worse because if he doesn't actually know, which is 50 50 on whether he knows or doesn't know who bought it, well, then everyone in the room is a prospective buyer. So now he has to do favors for all of them, <laughs> right? Yeah. And by the way, one of the people in the room was Eric Garcetti, the mayor of Los Angeles, and he's up for ambassador to India from Joe Biden. This is a disaster. It's so unnecessary. It's no, but weird. JR, it is necessary because Hunter Biden doesn't have a real way to make money. He so he's been making money off his dad's name the entire time. So if you're a de look, if you're a Republican and you think Hunter Biden is the most important political figure in America, you're a joke. That's hilarious. He's just a two-bit scammer. Okay, that's all, right? And so, hey, man, that's it happens. It happens. That was his kid. There's nothing Joe can do about it. Okay. Now, if you, on the other hand, if you're a Democrat and you think, oh no, first time art, 
guys who do, he, his pictures look like they're covers of iPhones. Um, okay, it's, it's comical, <laughs> it's ridiculous, right? If you think, no, no, that's a real artist, and I bet he earned $75,000 a painting, and it happens to a first time artist all the time. You're being ridiculous, you're so biased that you can't see straight. This is obviously a scam. I mean, I'm really happy to see Hunter Biden stepping out of the uh, uh, the film aspect of art and into a new uh, <laughs> a new medium in the art world. <laughs> but I mean, it's sus, right? It's it's all it's it's suspect, all of it. You know, he's definitely using his name uh, and his dad's uh, position, at the very least, for uh, to enrich himself for clout. But I will say. Back during the election, <laughs> Don Jr. challenged Hunter Biden to do a debate. And that is art that I would pay $75,000 <laughs> to see any day, hands down. We need the sun's debate. We need it now. Joe Biden pass, pass the PRO Act. You know, uh, Congress uh, needs to, to get their stuff together with the reconciliation bill and, and all of that. But the next thing they need to pass is uh, legislation that mandates sun debates, fail sun debates in every election. Yeah, and that's the other thing. If you're a Republican, you're complaining about nepotism and corruption within the family. Who are you kidding, man? You don't even believe it. I mean, what is, Kushner and Ivanka made some insane amount of money while yeah. being at the White House. I mean, it was in the hundreds of millions. All the money that flowed to Trump's hotels, it still didn't help him. Apparently, he lost 70 million on the Washington Hotel because he's the world's worst businessman. Uh, alpha male, uh, only went bankrupt six times, not seven. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Don Jr.'s whole existence is nepotism. Uh, he had his son in law run the White House. I mean, come on. You really think Hunter Biden? Hunter Biden's nowhere to be seen at the White House, thank God, okay? Don Jr. and Eric Trump and, and, and most especially Ivanka and, and Jared Kushner were given massive roles like peace in the Middle East. And then they milked that to sell their properties. It was, they were the, the worst curves. They make Hunter Biden look like the, you know, the minor leagues, the little league of corruption. Right? That's, that's part of my frustration with this. It's not like he's gonna get any kind of government position. Trump was giving his kids government positions. Hunter Biden, in this case, our assumptions are, he just needs some money because he doesn't do other different kinds of work. I don't know what else he does. But if you need cash and you come from a family that's got money, just take some of it. Here, hey dad, <laughs> I need $75,000. Okay, son, now that's normal you know, kid who doesn't have things going for him and rich dad gives it to him. Why does it have to be then this intersection of politicians or potential position holders, then funneling money into this guy's account through bad artwork, again, that's, you know, it's your opinion, uh, this kind of artwork in order to get another position. Just How about you appoint the people at positions you wanna appoint them to, give your kid money, and then let's just get it out of the way. I don't see why this aspect has to be there. By the way, you can say, I'm Hunter Biden. My dad's the president, buy my artwork. Somebody's gonna do it, they're going to because of that mm -hmm. weird reason that he's just as the president's son. Use it then. I don't mind if somebody wants to give you their money for no reason, use it. But why does that have to then intersect with, with the politics? Yeah, now we can't have people buying Hunter Biden's art uh, in an effort, it, because then you, okay, then you'll give them $2 million. I mean, that's what they did with Jared Kushner's real estate properties. They're like, oh, it's uh, uh, not worth that much. How about I give you an extra $100 million and then you give me a deal for, uh, for uh, that it affects the UAE or Qatar or one of those things, right? So, and Hunter Biden knew nothing about Ukrainian gas and he knows nothing about art. If you're a Democrat pretending otherwise, don't be ridiculous. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.